there are, there was a report that you know that you were the person who was speaking with Sachin Pilot. Uh, we spoke with Sachin Pilot as well this morning, and he of course said that he is not going to go to the BJP. So he's made that very clear. Uh, I wanted to ask you what is the sense that you got from there, uh, and did it have to come to this point that even if you don't make that the problem with the Congress Party is that they are unable to iron things out. If you are unable, one person is your deputy chief minister. The next day, he is not just sent a notice that he's also publicly stripped of his positions. How does it, you know? I will not want to comment on what the party leadership is uh, deciding because they will be deciding based on various inputs. I am in Sachin. I'm not the person who's really like the interlocutor here. I'm not that. I know Sachin, so I've just been trying to talk to him. And he also clearly told me that he won't be leading the BJP, but he's got other issues. So that he is discussing with the party. I hope he discusses with the party high command and can reconcile it. And I'm trying to do whatever I can. But at the same time, uh, you know, uh, I don't know uh, what exactly he's going to do. Uh, I just, my feeling is that, yes, there are issues in the Congress party that we need to do to see that, you know, we function in a more professional, systematic manner where decision making uh, and accountability uh, is more uh, and also uh, there are issues within the party that needs to be sorted out and I think all of us are aware of it even the Congress leadership is aware, aware of it uh, Mrs. Gandhi is aware of it Rahul is, is aware of it is the problem so that there we, is no Congress leadership like that because a lot of the people who were appointed by Rahul Gandhi for example PC chief Sachin Pilot was made by Rahul Gandhi you had the entire PCC incident in Haryana as well where Ashok Tawar also left you are Sanjay Nirupam also leaving. Milind Diora, there is speculation every day about him. So all of the appointees out there, it's because of the fact that they don't have someone right now in the, who's taking, you know, who's calling the shots, who is really there. Mrs. Gandhi yeah, is there, but I, she's I, only I, interim. I agree with you. There has to be more clarity in the way things uh, function at the top. And this confusion can and is, I think, creating some sort of friction and disturbance within the party. Uh, when we have to fight a, a party like BJP, which is now a relentless, unscrupulous, unprincipled, grab-powered, any-cost kind of a machine, uh, if we are not, uh, you know, we, we don't have greater clarity and, uh, you know, decision-making is uh, not, uh, you know, decision-making becomes, uh, when decision-making is based on, you know, uh, quick uh, th thinking and uh, getting the right inputs, uh, then we will suffer. And Congress party is, you know, we are suffering because we've seen the Karnataka government fall. We've seen whatever the BJP did. BJP is doing many things. BJP is bribing, threatening, intimidating, uh, inducing, coercing. They're doing everything. They have no principles uh, 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 in what they do. But that's what politics fight, is, yeah. No, I don't think that's what politics is. I don't think this is like they've taken it to another extreme level where uh, everything is allowed and every office is being misused uh, right from... You know, the constitutional offices, uh, the governor's office, the election commission, you name it, everything is being misused. Income tax, CBI, everything. So this is, this is anti-democratic what they're doing. But we have to fight them. And how do we fight them? We have to fight them by us getting more stronger, united, more focused, and finding out people's capabilities, more driven, and uh, giving, uh, you know, people who capable, responsible positions, and, uh, you know, having that sense of purpose. So somewhere I think we are in a, situation where there is some amount of confusion but the party leadership also is aware of it and uh, I also know that the party leadership is aware of it and things have to be uh, set right and that's what even I, I told Sachin and I'm, and I'm telling other leaders also that let's all work together in the Congress party and see that that happens you know, let's work from within uh, rather than you know going out somewhere and helping some uh, 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 a monolithic party which will in eventually consume all of us and uh, we have to fight them. And so that is what my message is to all the other people that, yes, there are problems. But when the problems are there, let's stick together and fight it out. And that's what we need to do, I think. 